Welcome back to Tech Talks. I'm Chris Bormas and today we're going to stay in the fiber world and we're going to talk about using eFiber, which again is our BIS-GMA and PMMA reinforced glass fiber for single tooth replacements. Now when would you use a single tooth replacement? Can generally missing laterals, implant placement, long-term provisionals and temporaries. And why would we use a fiber reinforced Maryland bridge instead of something cast or milled? Well, the simple answer to that is that because e-fiber, again, impregnated with composite, this GMA, has a better bond, it has a chemical bond to your prepared tooth surface as compared to alloys. It's as simple as that. You have a stronger bond, and unless you're leaving this in as a definitive restoration, you do not need to prep the abutment teeth. That's a key factor when you're working with e-fiber. If you're working with a polymer like a pecton, a trilor, a, you know, an alloy, a zirconia, things like that, you need to prep those teeth. When you're working with e-fiber, you don't need to prep the teeth. Minimally, minimally invasive techniques. So, again, how would we do this? So first off, if we were doing this in the practice and it was a patient at 4 o'clock on Friday afternoon who had a wedding the next day or something like that where you need to fabricate an immediate provisional, what we would do would be to prepare the adjacent teeth, regular composite bonding techniques. We would place one piece of fiber between those teeth covering two-thirds of the width of the abutment teeth. Of course, one of the things we're going to be doing is making sure that the fiber wings are out of the opposing bite. We take a second piece of fiber and place that perpendicular to the first piece. So we've created almost a T fiber reinforced framework. We could place our ponic former down on the gingiva and then using our composite, we could build up our ponic. So this is a simple, easy way of providing an immediate temporary restoration. Now on the other hand, if we were placing an implant and we wanted our laboratory partners to fabricate an immediate uh, temporary, what our laboratory could do would be to take the cast, grind away the tooth, almost like we we're doing an immediate denture, but grind away the tooth where we'd be placing the implant, choose a denture tooth and the mold and shade that's going to meet and fit with the existing dentition, they would cut a notch in the back of the tooth on the lingual side and it's not going to be straight across it's going to be more of an oval form and we're going to place the tooth on the cast we're going to grind it into place leaving room for the ponic design of our choice make a putty matrix to hold this tooth in place on the cast we will then take a piece of fiber keeping in mind we want to cover two-thirds of the width of the abutment teeth on each side we're going to cut the fiber to length we're going to place it into the trough we cut in the lingual of the denture tooth, place it onto the abutment teeth on our cast, press it down so we widen out the fiber so it covers more of the surface area of the tooth to bond to, more strength. Then what we're going to do is we're going to backfill the trough that has the e-fiber inside it with composite. We're going to light cure this into place. Keeping in mind we are not going to light cure the wings. The wings we are going to leave raw in just fiber form. So why are we going to do that? Well, because the fiber wings will flex when they don't have composite on them. We have a little bit of movement with them still. The minute we have composite on them, they lose that flexure. We need to have a little bit of flex when this is placed chair side, simply because we're going to be placing this into our prepared area that is the composite bonding technique. So we have composite there. So we need a little bit of flex to accommodate the composite on our tooth structure. We place it into the prepared areas, light cure that into place, and then put a veneering layer of composite on the wings. It's as easy as that. So the day of implant placement, we have our temporary made. We can design the ponic design like an ovate ponic of our choice to maintain the emergence profile of the gingiva, which is really key as we all know in the anterior aesthetic area. We're maintaining that emergence profile. We're contouring the tissue the way we want. This can be placed the day of surgery. 
right over the healing cap. When the patient comes back, if we want to place a temporary abutment, we can remove our fiber framework a number of ways. One way is just like a pro feet, you can pop it off. It bonds with 30 newton centimeters of strength. You can pop it off like a pro feet, hollow grind out the inside of your denture tooth so that it sits over the temporary abutment without loading the implant. So, pop off your temporary e-fiber Maryland bridge, remove the healing cap, place the temporary abutment of your choice, hollow grind out the inside of your denture tooth so it can seat back in place without loading the temporary cylinder, and simply light cure the fibroponic back into place. There's a lot of different applications with the Maryland Bridge and E-Fiber. Again, it can be used in simple cases like congenitally missing laterals, which is ideal for young patients because we don't want to prep their teeth. It's ideal for implant patients because we can use it in every stage of healing. And it's also ideal for those long-term definitive cases. And again, if we're going to use it as a long-term definitive restoration for additional strength, we do want to prep the lingual area on our abutment teeth simply, once again, to have additional strength. Thank you for joining us today at Tech Talks. Next time, we're going to stay in the fiber world, and we're going to talk about repairing and reinforcing dentures. Thank you again. Thank you for joining us today for Tech Talks by Preet, part three in our four-part fiber series, eFiber Maryland Bridge Applications. Interested in learning more about the product you've seen here today? Visit us on the web at www.preet.com. Have a question you'd like to submit? Email us at techtalks at preet.com. That's T-E-C-H-T-A-L-K-S at preet.com.